Hello, my name is Courtney, and today I'm going to be doing a physical um, assessment to assess the overall health of the patient. I went ahead and gathered all my supplies and uh, cleaned it. I also came into the room, provided uh, privacy, as well as performed proper hand hygiene. So now we'll go to the patient. Hello, my name is Courtney, and I'll be your nurse today. Can you please verify your name and your date of birth, please? Mm -hmm. Daniel Morrison, January 1, 2000. Perfect. And it looks like that matches his wristband. And um, so today we're going to be, I reviewed your chart. Today we're going to be doing a physical assessment. Do you have any questions about that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my general survey of the patient. So um, I'm going to start out with the ABCs, so looking at airway, breathing, and um, circulation. So airway, the patient was speaking clearly, not vomiting, so that's uh, clear. Breathing, um, are you having any trouble breathing? Mm -hmm. No, okay. So no signs of respiration distress um, observed. Also skin appears to be um, pink, there's no cyanosis and no pallor, um, so circulation seems to be working okay. And then do you know why you're here? For a health assessment. Okay. And do you know what date is? Yes, I do. It's um, July 6th, Sunday. it? Yes. Okay. And then, um, let's see. Can you um, tell me who's the president? President Trump. Okay, cool. So patient it, level of consciousness is conscious times four. Um, so next we'll go ahead and I'm looking at the patient. The patient appears to be their stated age and also patient appears to have proper um, hygiene, uh, the hair, skin, fingernails all look clean and um, also upon observation patient doesn't seem to be grimacing or anything like that to show signs of distress or pain. Um, so next I'm going to go ahead and um, do you use any assistive devices to walk? No. No? Okay, good. And then um, also patient speech seems to be articulated clearly with um, a poor, um, with all the appropriate like content and sentences as well. So, and then last but not least, are you experiencing any pain today? No. no. Okay, on a scale of zero to 10, zero being no pain at all, 10 being the worst pain imaginable, what would you say your current pain level is? Zero. Right okay. So next I'll go ahead and go through with vitals. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and get your blood pressure. Do you have an arm you prefer? All right, arm's fine. Okay. One forty six over eighty two. Next, I'll go ahead and get your pulse. So I got 68 beats per minute and with the respirations count of 16 and the pulse was a two plus bounding pulse. Okay, so next I'm gonna go ahead and, and um, wash my hands, don on gloves, and I'm going to assess the head, face, neck, 
And so first off, I'm gonna go ahead and look at his hair and his face. So I'm not seeing any lesions, no signs of infestation. Um, the neck and face, they seem to be the same in co color. And um, there seems to be like no um, sort of lesions or anything like that that are uh, visible. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab some gloves. I'm gonna go ahead and have gloves. All right, do you feel any pain? No. Okay, I'm gonna check the sinuses. Do any of you feel any pain? No. Oh, no. No. Okay, and do you always wear glasses all the time? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and so head was um, cephalic in nature. And um, also, can you go ahead and smile for me? Can you go ahead and frown? Puff out your cheeks? Okay, and then the cranial nerve is intact. So, next we're gonna go ahead and, um, I looked at the scalp, so like the hair texture was evenly distributed. Again, there is no signs of infestation. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and look at your ears. So, look at me. So, ears are symmetrical. I'm gonna look in this side. And there's no, no visible lesions. And then I'm gonna go ahead and palpate. Do you feel any pain? No. No edema, no piercings. Um, everything seems to be intact with that. Um, next, I'm gonna go ahead and look at the nose. So I'm not seeing any signs of redness. I'll you look up for me. And then, all right. So I'll go ahead and have you occlude one side of your nostril and then breathe in, breathe out. Do the same thing with the other. Okay. And then no problems with that. The patient was able to breathe in and out of the nose uh, when one nostril was occluded. Um, so next I'm gonna go ahead and look at eyes. So eyes, like the pupils seem to be centered. Um, there's, it doesn't look like there's any discharge. The, the sclera is white. I'm gonna have you pull down your eyelids for me. And conjunctiva is pink and moist. So next I'm gonna go ahead and shine this pen light in your eyes, okay? And I'm gonna do it twice on each side, okay? So keep looking straight ahead. side. Okay, so the pupils dilated on each side. Um, so I would document perla, pupils round, equal, reactive to light um, on each side. So next I'm going to go ahead and with the pen light test the another cranial nerve. So I'm going to go ahead and have you stare at the pen light and just follow it without with your eyes without moving your head, okay? So patient was able to do that with ease. Um, and so that cranial nerve is intact. Um, next, I'm gonna go ahead and look into the mouth and pharynx. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and get on gloves and I'll get my tongue depressor as well. So I'm gonna have you open your mouth for me. And so soft palate, hard palate are intact. Teeth are well-groomed. Um, there's no signs of cavities. I'm gonna have you say, ah. Uh -huh. Okay, and then the uvula is midline and it rises upon pharynation. Um, so next I'm gonna go ahead and look at the neck. So appearance of the neck, I'm not noticing any edema or any swelling. Um, I want you to go ahead and look up for me and swallow. Sorry. Okay, and then trachea looks to be midline. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and palpate, okay? Trachea is midline, firm. Do you have any pain? No. Okay. And then I'm gonna actually go ahead and feel for um, the TMJ joint as well. So I'm gonna have you open close. Okay, and then I didn't feel any popping of the TMJ joint. And I'm gonna go ahead and feel your lymph nodes. And no feeling of, um, uh, the lymph nodes, they didn't feel swollen or, or protruded. And I'm gonna go ahead and actually palpate and feel, do you have any pain? No. Okay. And your eyes, no? Mm -mm. Okay. And then, so next I'm going to go ahead and uh, do your upper extremities. So I'm going to go ahead and roll up your sleeves a little bit, okay? So other than a 
slight sunburn. It looks like his skin um, seems to be intact. Um, the temperature is the same going all the way down. Uh, skin feels dry, uh, pink and warm. Um, and let's see. So I'm gonna have you go ahead and shrug your shoulders for me. Okay, and then do it again. And then I'm gonna have you lift up your arms like this straight ahead. Okay, and then um, put them to the side. Okay, and then do it again under pressure. So go ahead and lift up. Okay, and then the other side. And then I want you to squeeze my hands as hard as you can. Okay, so it looks like the muscles uh, were, or I'm sorry, hold on. Thank you. Okay, so the muscle uh, mass was uh, equal on each side and the muscle strength uh, was the same on each side as well bilaterally. Um, so it would be, I rate that about a five plus and was able to do that under pressure as well and had full range of motion. Um, so also I'm gonna go ahead, are you having any, do you have any pain with your upper extremities at all? No. Or any limitation in motion? No. no? Okay. And next I'm gonna go ahead and do, um, or I'm gonna actually look for clubbing and cyanosis of the fingers as well. So with the fingernails, I'm noticing there's not any um, clubbing or bulging. I just noticed a little uh, blood spot that's underneath the nail on that side. Does that give you any pain? No. Okay, and it looks to be it's healing properly. Um, the fingernails adhere solidly to the nail bed and capillary refills less than three seconds. So um, now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the anterior thorax. And uh, so first I'm gonna go ahead and um, inspect the chest and I don't see that there's any sort of discoloring, any sort of edema. Um, also the, um, let's see, so it seems to be symmetrical and the shape is symmetrical on each side. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, and also there's no accessory muscles using the patient is using to breathe. So next I'll go ahead and auscultate. So I'm gonna have you take a deep breath in and out, okay? Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and palpate. Do you have any pain? Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna do the back as well. Do you have any pain? No. Okay, I'm gonna listen to the same thing, so I want you to go ahead and take the same breaths, okay? Every time my stethoscope touches. And then uh, over the lung fields, the sounds were heard. And um, normal functioning, inhalation and exhalation is heard. Um, so next I'm gonna go ahead and listen to all five positions of the cardiac. And I'm gonna be listening for um, intensity, rhythm, and also the apical pulse for one minute. So. So with the diaphragm of the bell, all right, you can just go ahead and breathe normally, okay? 